Brisbane remains a national leader on price growth, although its performance on sales activity has declined a little so far this year in a period impacted by major disruption. Hotspotting's latest quarterly survey of sales activity has classified 153 Brisbane suburbs as either rising markets or consistency markets, and that compares to 169 in the survey three months earlier and 180 in the one before that. Our quarterly analyses indicate that the Brisbane market likely peaked in the second half of 2021, and in terms of sales volumes, has been gradually subsiding since then. The number of suburbs classified as rising markets in the eight quarterly surveys the past two years shows the pattern of the market from 56 about two years ago per quarter, 124, 141, 163, 168, so market rising, and in the last two quarters down from 168 to 159 and then 130. And this indicates that the, the market may have passed its peak, although this has been happening in a period of major disruption. And market uh, sales levels remain much higher than historical norms. In the six years prior to 2021, the average number of rising markets in our quarterly surveys was just 42. So the numbers in the latest survey are three times higher than that average. Now, the period under review featured major rain bomb events in Brisbane, including significant floods in late February, early March, and this undoubtedly affected sales numbers, although prices have remained quite elevated. There have also been a series of interest rate rises and an absolute orgy of negative media. Nevertheless, sales activity pattern across Greater Brisbane shows that the affordable outering areas have maintained and in some cases improved on their strong levels and some middle and entering areas have weakened. The busiest markets include Logan City, Ipswich City, the Moreton Bay region and Redland City, which comprise the more affordable sections of the Greater Brisbane market. The markets which have shown the greatest reduction in their sales activity patterns are the Brisbane Inner Precinct and the Brisbane South Precinct. And they're both areas that were impacted by those February, March flooding events. In our previous survey three months earlier, 20 of the 23 Brisbane Inner Suburbs were rising markets. But in our latest survey, there are only 11 rising and four consistent year markets. Still a solid position, but less buoyant than before. Brisbane South is the precinct of the greater Brisbane area that's declined the most. Of the 31 suburbs in our analysis, 23 were rising markets three months earlier, but in the most recent survey, only 13 of the 31 suburbs were classified as rising markets. Now, amid all the disruption, Brisbane remains a national leader on house price growth with its, with its median house price up 27% in the 12 months to June. Every suburb in the Greater Brisbane area recorded house price growth in the past year, and 96% of suburbs had double-digit increases, and including three-quarters of Brisbane area suburbs, which rose by more than 20% in the last 12 months. Now, all but two suburbs recorded house price growth in the most recent quarter, with two-thirds of Brisbane suburbs rising by more than 5% in the quarter. Apartment markets have been lifting also, with 93% of suburbs with unit markets delivering annual increases in their median prices. The Moreton Bay region in the north of Greater Brisbane has been one of the outstanding markets. There are 33 suburbs there which have had growth in the median house prices above 20% in the last sorry, in the past 12 months. So if you're hearing from mainstream media that prices are falling everywhere across Australia, that certainly doesn't apply across the Greater Brisbane area, especially in those more affordable locations. Now, the big factor for Brisbane is that the future is strong. There is a major infrastructure spend underway with big ticket projects totaling around $30 billion under construction. That's going to be creating lots of economic activity and jobs. And out of that comes high demand for real estate. And there's more to come as Brisbane and Southeast Queensland needs to invest in infrastructure to get ready for the 2032 Olympics. So there'll be ups and downs along the way, but Brisbane is going to be, I think, a growth market for the next 10 years at least.